I'm a professor here at the Butler School of Planning at uh, UCL and my interests are in the broad area of urban design and within that I suppose I've got two main foci of my, my work. One is around public space and issues to do with public space and public space design and management and the other is around the governance processes associated with design so how for example public authorities engage with design and try and ensure a better quality built environment Yes, the paper, in some respects, was was a bit of an accident um, because it stems from a large project that I was doing, finished a couple of years ago, on uh, public spaces in London, and the project itself was looking at contemporary criticisms of public space. So that's things like privatisation and homogenisation of public space. Um, and whether public spaces are equitably shared by different segments of the community. And as part of that research I was doing in London, we were looking at the range of, or the full process of space creation and management from the initial design right the way through to how they're used and how they're managed over the long term. And whilst I was working on that and thinking about these issues, um, I started to realise that actually what we were looking at was quite a common process that was shared across different public spaces and that there was perhaps a broader set of issues around the process of urban design that was worth reflecting on as well as the other outcomes from the research project. So. The, the paper really describes a process of urban design and the paper makes the argument that um, for some time there have been debates in urban design about its role and about its legitimacy as a subject and some people have argued that urban design is very small and isn't a subject in its own right because it draws so heavily from other disciplines Whereas what I argue is, in fact, it is an important subject. It's a subject worthy of research. Um, and perhaps at the core of our study of urban design should be a study of the processes by which urban design operates and places are shaped. And so the paper tries to map out what those processes are. And it argues that there are a number of components to this place shaping continuum as I called it. One is around the various contexts that uh, urban design uh, is subject to, uh, subject to in any one place. So for example the history and development practices of a particular area, in the case of my research it was London. Uh, also the contemporary politics and how that shapes places and development processes. Then the process itself from design through to development through to how spaces are actually used which also shapes them in various ways to how they're managed over the long term. And then finally uh, an element around how the power relationships between the different stakeholders involved in shaping a place play out in any particular circumstances. So I mean for example the relationships between the developer and the public authority or between uh, the public authority and the community or between the community and the, long, and, and the managers of, of a space and all those things shape urban design and shape it often over very long periods of time um, and so that's why I've called it a, a, a place shaping continuum and I suppose the paper argues that actually we can see similar place shaping continuums you know, all over the world in different cities and different places and that, that seems to me to be a very worthwhile focus for study. Well, I think the different respon uh, responses focus variously on 
issues around public space and how public space is perceived and, um, and used and, and arguments around public private and so forth. Also around how urban design process might be uh, explored further as, as a legitimate subject for research. But I think one of the most interesting of the responses focuses on to what extent I can draw lessons from looking at public space to urban design more generally, which goes across scales from sort of citywide scale down to public space at the, 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 the smallest scale. What I argue in the paper is that pub public space and the study of public space is a really good surrogate for looking at those larger urban design processes because public space projects are usually part of larger processes of place shaping, whether that's the result of, you know, or part of larger uh, urban design projects themselves, or whether it's uh, a result of uh, policy processes, or the result of you know simply the, the, the sort of um, socio-economic context of a particular place and the, how that shapes spaces and all those things impact not just on public spaces but on a urban design at large so i argue that actually the study of public space is a very useful surrogate for these larger urban design processes Well, I think urban design as a process is a very useful sort of core for the discipline. And I think the study of that process in different places, different cities, different countries, is uh, an under-researched area within urban design. It's certainly something that I would like to see a lot more research in. Um, much urban design research touches on these issues but it doesn't then necessarily become the core focus for the research. So I think there's a big agenda there to be explored.